I got nothing I can turn into preserves there. Well, it's okay. We've only got a couple of days before uh, preserves. I guess I said I wanted to reset those. Here's my chance. I guess we've got like 10 more rhubarb and some cranberries that can drop off here. Oh, I've actually got a couple of peats. Not enough, but I do have a number. And nothing from there. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so I'll just keep dropping off the rhubarb here. Oh, hey, Foxy. Um, but I, I was actually kind of impressed that it was such a, such a divide, because to me it almost makes perfect sense that, yeah, you know, any kind of a spectator thing. Yeah, please tell me that every gamer can be, uh, a Star, uh, like a StarCraft pro player. <laughs> I agree. Um, and that was actually, like, one of the pro points that got brought up. You know, uh, the, it eventually devolved less into being about YouTubers and more about, you know, pro StarCraft and, um, like, Counter-Strike players and whatnot. And I actually found that to be even more interesting because the sheer amount of back and forth about how it's the same, how it's not the same. Um, yeah, it's different, but it's not better or worse. But, like, for me, I don't, I don't see the point of spectation, being a spectator, to be any different one way or another. Uh, for example, I've seen, oh... I, I've, I mean, people watch poker tournaments. What's the difference between watching a poker tournament and watching, you know, me and my friends play Armello, except for the, I guess, lack of professionalism of, about it all? Because uh, ultimately, I would actually put them largely... Hey, there we go, there's the next bit. I would put them largely in the, uh, the same boat, just because... Oh, I forgot. Oh, shit. We have to go give Gus a diamond. Well, he's not going to be available for at least a little while anyway. Um... I forgot to go to the gypsy yesterday. Oh, well. Doesn't bother me much that I didn't. Um, but, you know, it's... I mean, obviously, there's a whole thing about, the, you know, the hive mind not always agreeing with you, but still. International World Poker, I'm fairly sure, is a actual thing. Oh, yeah, totally. Um, but, like, yeah, there's huge differences between uh, being... Uh, you know, being an actual professional athlete and being a, um, let's see, is it this one? No. Uh, being like a professional athlete and being a professional esports player. However, okay, through the shell into the box, uh, into the box, immediately a note falls down from the rafters above. Well done, your next task, 10 beats inside the fridge. Okay. That is weird. Um, and yeah, I, I would actually say that, like, there's a pretty marked difference between, um, between, like, you know, pro athletes and pro gamers. But not nearly as much as, um, not nearly as much as you'd think. Like, I, I was reading a, a article a while back talking about the, the sheer amount of stuff that, uh, pro gamers have to go through. Um... To, like, actually be pro gamers. To the point where it actually, like, concerned me. Which is weird. Um. So, for for example, these people will be... These I want to talk to her for whatever reason. My pet guinea pig, David. He just hates this hot weather. He's fussy. Alright. I think we have found our stand-in for Shell. If we do decide to go that route. Seeing as Shell's ideal pet is a guinea pig. Okay, uh, so we have to wait around for 10 minutes. Let's just move back and forth for a second. Yeah, physically they're different, but the common link is they both require practice. Practice in a s silly amount of time, and surprisingly, they actually have a kind of ridiculous amount of, um, drop-off after a certain point. You remember my birthday. Thank you. This is great. Yay, Gus. So Gus is now up to four, four hearts. Beautiful. Okay, now only, like, three more years and we'll have a maxed. Ooh, at some point I'll actually bother with this more. Let's see, wouldn't Leah be a better stand-in since she's an artist? Maybe? I don't, like, I honestly don't know. I Or care that much. I should probably just raise it so I actually talk to these people and get to know, know them. Um, but, gonna be totally honest, Shell works better off as, like, a nerd slash nature lover, lover than an artist. She might even be watching this right now. Hi, Shell, if you're there. <laughs> uh, let's see... And we get some more cloth. Which we should probably actually start converting it over, because the... 
I actually don't know what the upsale value on this is. So what's this? Five, six, oh yeah, that's totally worth it. So I'll keep working on the loom. Okay. So what do we want to do? We could, we could work on bri bribinating everybody and making friends. It's not a bad idea. Um, here, you know what? Let's see. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pull the site open on my on my actually no I don't need to I don't need to worry about this we're not doing the weird uh, recording setup anymore so I can go take a look at things okay so let's go back to Stockerdew Valley do we want to do we want to go back to work on everybody uh, across the board I guess let's take a look at Emily first what is she like what's her best wool right. I'm not going to give her bolts of cloth. I'll just give her wool. Okay. So let's do Emily. Let's do... And let's go grab our... What I should probably do is actually figure out exactly who likes... um, Like, everybody from the group, I need to make a list. Who are the parsnip crew? Though, I might not actually have... Uh, I got a hangnail here. Um, I might not actually have enough parsnips for everybody. Which could suck a bit, but we do have a fairly large. Uh, we do we do have a fair a fairly large amount of people that like it. Not worth it to get ten hearts with everyone. It's too hard to maintain. Not if you're cheating. Huzzah! Um, uh, for frame of reference, I uh, I have a mod that makes it so hearts don't um don't decay on me. Uh, so that means. People will never lose interest in me as a friend. I will stay forever firmly rooted in their hearts, even if they don't see or talk to me for over a year. Yeah! I'm an asshole! But it's honestly better this way, because I really don't just feel like... It feels like a chore maintaining the relationships in this game. It really does. And that's part of the reason why I've like been putting it off for so long, because I just sincerely do not want to. Um, but I'm totally gonna own the fact that I've modified the game, uh, so the hearts don't slowly decay. Because it's just, it's just, it's not worth it. Man, like, if you guys that are like, if you guys are like really passionate about about this game, you can do what you want. Me? I'm gonna give Li Linus a coconut, and he'll remain happy forever. This is wonderful, you really made my day special. How's Linus doing? Two hearts. Christ, I'm gonna have to give people more gifts. What is what is she like? Seeing as she's here, and we might as well give her stuff. Uh, she's Abigail. Now, this way, it's more realistic. Since friends, and she likes puffer fishes and pumpkins and spicy eel. Hey, guess what? I currently have in my inventory that I'm not gonna be using a spicy eel. Delivery! I seriously love this. You're the best, dude. That's all. Okay, so yeah, let, let's start being friendship, friendship number, friendship person number one for everybody. She likes amethyst, yes, but she also likes pumpkins. And blackberry cobbler. Huh. I have a lot of blackberries. I can actually make more of those. Okay. But I also have a fuck ton of pumpkins. Uh, so let's go do George. You know what? Even more than this. Let's make this circuit. I got a, I got a notepad in front of me. We're just gonna... No. I gotta... I have Stalkerdew Valley. Ah, uh, shoot. So what do I want to do? Um... So what... The problem, the problem is what I want to do is have like a list of everything that everybody likes that's easy for me to obtain. Jesus Christ, this notepad is just... full. Okay, whatever. I need to go buy, buy some more legal pads. Okay. So we're gonna go with... We're gonna go with... Uh, start with... Let's see. I'm gonna just write, now, write down... Parsnip... 
crew. Everybody in the parsnip crew will only get parsnips. They are an exclusive club, and I won't give them anything else. Okay, uh, so let's let's start collecting the parsnip crew. That'll only take like a couple lines, so let's see. Pumpkin slash uh Okay, Abigail, pumpkin slash blackberry cobbler. Hopefully we'll max her hearts out uh, by the time we're done. Okay, so Clint can go in the... Eh, no, I'll take a look at him in a second. Okay, uh, so let, let's let's just go on the list, because uh, this is probably going to be, like, the least interesting footage for a second. But let's let's truly plan here. So we've got, we've got Abigail handed, handled. Uh... Haley likes Haley likes coconuts. Those are easy to obtain. Leah likes what does Leah like? Uh goat cheese. Or even easier than goat cheese. She's got salad. I'm also going to write down a salad crew, because I can buy salad as much as I want. And it's pretty cheap, too, so I can just, like, throw salad at people and make them love me. Uh, let's see. So this is Maru. I think Maru is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. Cauliflower, we missed the bar bus on that one. We got... Diamonds, rhubarb pie... Uh, gold bar, she's an expensive woman. Okay. Then again, I got a lot of gold gold bars, so I guess it's not a big deal. Okay. And Penny. What does Penny like? Penny likes poppy sandfish diamond melon. She likes her melons, and that should be easy to obtain, seeing as I've got a bunch of them. Okay, next up. Uh, oh, God. Pleasing Carolyn's going to be a problem. But she might actually fit in the sal salad crew. Okay. Uh, so these are the love interests. So what I want to... At the very least, what I'm going to do is make sure I've got the parsnip crew and the salad crew taken care of. Okay, so... Salad crew. Anybody in the salad crew gets a salad... Two salads a week for me. And nothing else. Okay, so Caroline. Leah. Okay. And th this is just going to be the way things work. Clint. What is Clint like? Clint likes gold. Do we have anything cheaper than gold bars? Not really. Okay. Okay. Let's see, love interests. Is he making a harem? No, currently I'm making an everyone harem. Look, I don't know, man. Okay, so he likes bean hot pot, rice pudding, ice cream, and actually, this I can check. We might have enough time for this one. Let's see if I can get down to the, uh, the ice cream salesman. Because if I can buy a bunch of ice cream, we might actually be able to just binge friendship with somebody. I want to be the coolest kid in town. Richie Rich style. Hell yeah, I want to be Richie Rich. Alright, so let's see if we can buy ice cream. And... Eh. There we go, 30 ice cream. So Demetrius likes ice cream. Well, I got 30 ice cream for him. You know what? Screw it. Let's hop off the horse. Let's buy 50. There we go. That's a bunch. You're the one guy that everyone in town knows and is friends with, despite the fact that you're a crazy hermit. Yes, thank you. Okay. Uh, what does Emily like? Is she... She likes wool. Because 
Because that's probably the easiest to give her. Because otherwise she likes very expensive gems. I could also throw her on the um, salad crew. I don't know about that one. We'll probably be okay giving her wool because it'll speed things along, but still. Evelyn, what do you like? Chocolate cake, stuffing, beets. Or salad. So what I'm, I'm going to do is just... Uh, am I still getting achievements after getting mods? I think so. I actually have no idea. I also generally don't care. Okay, George. What is George like? George likes leeks. Unfortunately, I'm probably going to run out of them at some point. After that, he also goes on the salad. Uh, the salad thing. Okay, who the hell is Gil? Gil is nobody. Who's Gunther? Also, nobody. He gives me the rusty key. We already got that. Okay. Can't do friendships with him. Fucking Gusman, Fish Togho, Escargo, Orange, and Diamonds. Well, you get relegated to the Parsnip crew. Because I'm not giving him two diamonds a week. Easy to check in the Steam achievements. Okay. Uh, maybe not. Let's let's check here. Live in large. Yep. So I still get uh, I still get achievements to fight, despite the fact that I've modified the game. Okay. Uh, so next up is Jazz. So Plum Pudding works. Fairy Rose kind of works. Okay, being friends with little girls is hard. Alternatively, we could make her hate us by just repeatedly giving her mayonnaise. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So... I <sighs> I hate this, but I'm going to put Jazz down as coconuts and, uh, fairy roses. Eh. Coconut, fairy rose. Coconut, fairy rose, and plum pud. So yeah, being, being friends with little girls, surprisingly hard. Turns out bribing them doesn't work as well as you'd like it to be. Okay, so Jody. Jody likes vegetable medley. No, actually, you know what? While we're here, let's put this away for a second. I just realized the restaurant has to sell things other than, um... Has to sell things other than just freaking salad. Oh, speaking of salad. Have a salad. Uh... I need to pick up more of these. Okay, somebody wants a parsnip. You get a parsnip. There we go. I am, I am like the most one-dimensional person you can ever... One dimension. Okay, that's fine. So we have salad, bread, spaghetti, pizza, coffee, and pepper poppers. So I think the pepper poppers are rare. Okay, so Jody is hard to be friends with too. She goes on to the salad crew. Okay. Uh, what about Kent? And Kent's just about as bad. Looks like you go on the parsnip crew. And we'll get you over your PTSD with infinite parsnips. Or melons. Oh. I actually probably don't have enough parsnips for this. I'll have to figure out other things. Oh. Wheat can be turned into beer, which I can give to people. Or I can just buy beer, I think. Whoops. Buy coffee. Huh. Beer is expensive. Probably won't do that. Uh, I might also just ignore Kent, because fuck him. Uh, hot pepper, not super useful, most of these. Alternatively, parsnips. It looks like most of the people in the, uh, parsnip crew also like coconuts. And, like, pizza and stuff. Okay, Linus. Linus I like, and I'm willing to go out of my way for, and luckily he likes coconuts and cactus fruits. So that helps a lot. Marlin. He does not like anything. He likes murder. Okay, Marnie. Marnie likes salad. So at the very least, I want to do the the uh, the salad crew on a weekly basis. Anything more than that is a problem. Okay, Pam likes cactus fruit. 
And beer, and parsnips, but let's give her cactus fruits just because it's convenient. So we'll start making it more, uh, more, uh, more, uh, more trips out to the desert. Okay, Pierre. Pierre likes fl fried calamari. Christ. What else does he like? Parsnips! Yeah. I got like 40 or 50 of them, so we should be okay. Uh, Robin, what does she like? Goat cheese? Or salad! Oh, God damn it! I'm running salad and salad. Robin. God damn it, Wonderbot. Salad is not Robin. Or vice versa. Okay, Shane likes beer. Looks like I should actually make some beer at some point. It's pretty easy to make, too. In fact, we might actually make a lot of uh, beer pretty soon, just because... Okay, Vincent. Small child likes grapes. Okay. And lastly, Willie. Willie likes pumpkins. Also fish, but I mean, whatever. I should have a ton of pumpkins. Apparently, we need to be homeless for Wanda to care about us. <laughs> You're not wrong. Okay, so let's get my... up, oh, up, oh, buy some more beer. Whoopsie. Spend most of my fortune on salad. Goodbye! Okay, so now, I, now I've got uh, Stalker Dew Valley done. So what does Maru like? Maru likes gold bars. So what I think I'm going to do is just, like, fill my inventory with all the, all the shit I need. And, um... I'm just going to go see people on a daily basis handing- or not daily basis, but I'm just going to spend like the first two days of every week just cramming good things down people's faces. And then- then I'm going to go back to being a hermit. I am- I am the Monday- Sunday Monday friend. And that's it. After that, no, fuck you. You're never seeing me again. Let's- let's see, we've already got- oh right. You know who I didn't put down? I did not put down Demetrius. Fuck him. I don't care. Okay, so we are or not not Demetrius. I did not put down any of the bachelors. I'm a friend to all except for marriageable men. I have no interest in marriageable men. They can do whatever. Okay, what is Abigail like? Pumpkin and blackberry cobbler though. I think I already got her for the week. Okay, so we want to find Demetrius. Ah oh, god. But he's currently not around. What is Robin like? Robin likes salad. Hello! Your weekly salad, uh, bi-weekly salad delivery has arrived. So yeah, we should probably just do the Caroline, Leah, Emily. Eventually I'll remember these characters by names and stuff, too. But uh, still, cuttlefish are adorable. I really want to touch a cuttlefish. I don't think I want to go more, uh, past that. And Penny likes melons. Well, we're out of the, we're out of luck for that for at least a couple more days. There's Demetrius. You like ice cream. Apparently I bought too much ice cream. Whatever. This is like, honestly, video game wise, this might actually be the single most, one of the single most creepy things I've ever done in a video game. Okay. Uh, fetch a cave carrot. Paid for your time. Elliot will be pleased. I'll see if I can pick it up. Otherwise, I don't know. Uh, let's see. The Reapers look like. Yeah, they do. Okay. Yep. You're a marriageable young man, which means I have no interest in anything you have to do. Uh, let's go grab our. Pumpkins? This is still going to be a huge time commitment. Do these guys just live together? So who the hell are you? That's Jody. Jody is... Huh, I didn't put Jody down. I think I looked at her page, but I didn't write anything because I didn't know what to give her. She might be one of the few characters that I don't actually bother giving anything to. Or we just put her down as salad. I think literally every woman in this in entire... Like, every woman in this entire game loves salad. 
Have a salad. Uh. Oh, there's nothing to give to him. Where's the kid? I don't know where the little kid is. But he's probably somebody uh, to flag down, seeing as I'm carrying around this grape. Hey, there he is. Stalker Dew Valley. 100%. I should probably actually put that in the stream description at some point. But whatever. Okay, um... Marnie. Where's Marnie on, on the list here? Marnie is also a, uh, a firm believer in salads. Uh, it's also locked. Well, I'm going home. I've done my sort of good-ish deeds for the day. I don't need sweet peas. We need to collect grapes, but I might have a bunch of them. Oh, well, we're here. We should probably pick up our pine resin, or our oak resin. Uh, because the more kegs we can make, the better. It's a shame that they actually changed the, uh, pri price on them, or the, uh, production requirements. Because it was nice when it was just, like, an earth crystal, because those are easy to get. I guess technically this is, like, super renewable and just about as easy to get. But still. Okay. Uh... Keep working on that. That sh should be good. Bunch of oak resin means more, more kegs. Yeah, we need a lot of kegs just so I can do um, star fruit conversion at some point. <sighs> so what I might do is just pick like two people, uh, like five people a day to like creep on. But I don't know. Okay, so it's Tuesday. There's nothing to do on Tuesday. Somebody left me a letter. Thanks for interest in my work. Here's a cooking uh, recipe I like. We now have fried mushroom. Yay. Okay, so let's... Let's friendship our animals. Okay, they have been properly friendshipped. You kind of wish you could just go pet the neighbors in the exact same manner. Just be like, hi. Yeah, I'm doing this. Don't, don't make it weird. Cool. And that's just the end of it. Uh, you, you just go up, you, you pet Gus, and he's like, uh, here's your food recipe, thank you for touching me. And this has gotten weirder and weirder, and at this point I'm not sure when to stop. Uh, hey, we got salmon dinner. Yeah, eventually we'll be able to, we'll be able to actually do, like, cooking and stuff here. Uh, okay, there's, there's a rhubarb. Only this game was about furries, then it would work. Holy shit, this is a lot of wine to make here. We do not have the rhubarb for this. This is a problem. I do have pumpkins. I, in fact, have pumpkins. So let's start turning our gold star and silver star pumpkins into things. Uh, I've got some grapes, but not many, but that's okay. We'll get more. Oh, I should have collected more. Whatever. I guess, oh yeah, we also get more from other things. Um... What is Abigail like? Pumpkin, blackberry cobbler. Yeah, I don't need to give my amethyst to her or anything like that. But yeah, let's, let's get rid of the gold star pumpkins just because. Clearing out my inventory slowly seems like a good idea. Though I should probably plan a little bit for, um... For getting, like, the occasional gold star crop. Uh, for that one festival. Because I would like to win that, even though I don't actually know if it gives me anything good. <laughs> it's just covered in diamonds! <laughs> oh, wow, that's actually like a huge temptation, honestly. Okay, so let's grab this, grab this. I think that would be utterly hilarious. Uh, oh, come on. Come back. Stop that. There we go. Stop running away from me. There we go. 